Uh, Mr. Credit Card Man, I think I just found your long lost love. Don't answer the phone. Elvis, Elvis Duran, the Elvis Duran phone tap. Garrett is doing today's phone tap. I'm telling you, Garrett is uh, yeah. sharpening up the claws. Hi, he's coming out of the corner for the fight in the phone tap uh, knockdown, whatever, I don't know. <laughs> Dear Elvis Duran, my mother just gave me the privilege of my first credit card. <laughs> and of course, mother's concerned I'm going to abuse it and overspend. So... Why don't we phone tap her? Call her up from the credit card company or whatever and tell her, hey, tell them, uh, yeah, she just charged a $3,000 purse. Oh, jeez. Mom will flip out. This comes to us from Alex. All right, we love it. We love it when people phone tap their moms. Garrett's going to light the fuse and calls Alex's mom from the credit card company. Then Alex comes on to take over to admit she bought the $3,000 purse and watch the fireworks fly. Here we go. Today's phone tap. Hello? Mrs. Beelie Bro, please. Yes? Hi, my name is Justin from Kenilwood about in the investigation division. Yes? Yesterday, uh, we noticed a transaction for $3,000 on uh, your card. No way. Not possible. Well, no. Uh, I mean, we, we nobody did it for my family. We only have one card. The transaction we see as of yesterday was a $3,000 handbag. A $3,000 handbag? Yes. Wow. Okay, that's not feasible. I mean, that definitely has not been done. That card was only used. It's my daughter's card. She's a college kid. Of course. So, this is why we call to make sure the transaction that you say that you didn't approve didn't, you know, happen. Oh, thank God. So I can tell you that there is no way. Any of us spend three thousand dollars on hamburgers. All right. Well, uh, I'll investigate further, and I'll get back to you as soon as I find out what happened. Right. Alex. Yeah. Now you're going to call her and talk to her. Oh my god. <laughs> Hang on. Hello. Hey, mom. Hey. What the hell is this? What? Did somebody call the house just now? I don't know. I left for work a couple of minutes ago. They needed me to go in early. Well, somebody charged three thousand dollars for a handbag. In Why didn't you move? Well, remember how I was saying I wanted to buy myself a gift? Well, they came out with these new Fendi bags. I was really, really cute, so I was very- Are you kidding me? $3,000? It's cute, Mom. It's Fendi. It just $3,000? I meant to tell you, but then I thought maybe I could just pay it off without getting you involved. You can't pay it off. You don't have the money. I'm telling Daddy, and we're going to take the car away from you. You're not taking the car away from me. We will take the car away. Daddy will drive it. You take that pocketbook back. You're out of your mind. No, I'm really not. This is where you're yelling at me right now. It's not necessary. It really isn't. My daughter spent $3,000 on a pocketbook? What? Uh, you have to bring it back now. You need to get it and bring it back now. I can't because they pre-sold it to me. I can't believe you think we're this kind of people with this kind of money. What on earth is... I can't. I, three uh -huh. Thousand dollars and daddy's slaving every day. Listen, you really need to relax. Cause listen, I just figured, why well, can't you help me out a little bit? And then you I know can what? You, back you can pay your own car insurance and you can pay for your car. Are you kidding me? Once again, you're yelling at me. I'm really not that Do you want to call daddy or am I calling daddy to tell him this? It's so beyond the beyond that I can't. It's it's gorgeous. Honestly, you're gonna love it. It's so nice. You think we're the Rockefellers? Your father slaves and me and. And you go buy three thousand dollar bag, and you're driving a new car. What the hell do you think you are? It's three thousand dollars. I like it. You have no sense of value whatsoever. You don't understand money at all. Three thousand dollars on a pocketbook? Whatever, mom. Bring it back today, or you're gonna really be in deep. You can drive the car Daddy drives now. Okay? How dare you? No control. You think you're Paris Hilton? Shame on you. Shame on you. Shame on you. I'm shocked. I'm so beyond words I can't even believe it. You have to have How the old is this? You're not rich, honey. We're middle class. Get a grip, Clara. Get a grip. We're paying for everything for you because you can't afford it. We're paying for your car. You got a better car than you should have gotten. And you go and do this? You have a problem, Alex, okay? Shame on you. Shame on you. I'm so shocked. I can't believe you would do this. It's so beyond. This is awful. Mom, mom. This is so beyond the beyond. All right, whatever, mom. Whatever. I need to go. I don't need to be aggravated before I go to work. Oh, well, you're already aggravated me. Well, she's only aggravating you because you're being phone tapped. Are you freaking kidding me? My name is Gary from Elvis Duran in the Morning Show. How are you? <laughs> I love you guys, too, and I can't believe you did this to me. Holy crap. <laughs> Elvis Duran phone tap. <laughs> this phone tap was pre-recorded with permission granted by all participants. The Elvis Duran phone tap only on Elvis Duran in the Morning Show.
Paris Hilton. 